be making basics. What's going on YouTube, Be Making Basics, back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because we're coming back to back with bangers. And today's video, I'll be going over how you can do the halftime effect in Logic Pro 11 without any third party plugins or anything like that. Just using the plugins that are here in Logic Pro 11. Now, before I get into that, just want to let you know that you need to head over to BeMakingBasis.com. Right now, I'm doing a sale on all of our courses, kits, and templates, and on the Beat Making Master Bundle. The Beat Making Master Bundle is over half off, so go ahead and jump on it. It's a limited time offer. Without uh, further ado, let's jump into the video. Basically, I'm going to let you check out the beat here, just a little bit of it, maybe like the intro, the hook, maybe a little bit of the verse, and then we're going to jump into how you can do the halftime effect in Logic Pro 11. So let's check out this beat. Anyway, that's enough of that. Let's go ahead and jump into it. So first thing I'm gonna do is uh, bring up the inspect inspector tool here. And um, there's actually a plugin with Logic Pro 11. You do have to have the latest version of Logic Pro 11 that you can put on here to do the halftime effect. So what you'll do is go to the multi effects and what you're gonna do is go straight to the beat breaker plugin. So do that, go stereo. Once that comes up, actually the first or the next button is halftime and all you have to do is just click this and whatever you put this uh plug in on is going to make it do halftime so now the beat's going to sound a whole lot different Then we can also put this uh, plug in on the stereo out too. So that's another little trick. Take it to the beginning here, put it on halftime. You can um, change the length here to eight bars. Say if you have an eight bar measure, sound a little different like that. Anyway, y'all, that's pretty much the video. Just wanted to show y'all a quick way that you can go ahead and put the halftime effect on your beats using Logic Pro 11. If you like this video, make sure you smash the like button. Make sure you share the video. Leave me your comments in this uh, comment section below. Let me know what you want to, you know, see next. And I appreciate y'all watching. I'll see you in the next video. We're out.